Welcome back to Market Movers. I'm Jason Yash, your host. I'm here with Amy Jensen and Joe Capriati. Thanks for being here. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Thank you. Our expert question of the week is, other than price, what are we doing to bring affordability to our market? That's a great question. So there's four areas that you really want to look at. You want to look at price, location, condition, and terms. Okay. So price, really, that's negotiable between buyer and seller. Right. Location is something that is fixed. You can't put a home in a cul-de-sac. You can't make a home have a view. You can't reduce. You can't move to the other side of the street so there's no road noise. Right, right. So location you're stuck with. Condition of the property is something you're not stuck with. Right. And in today's market, condition is very important. A year ago, or even in January, condition didn't matter. Right, right now, it really matters. So new flooring, new paint, et cetera, things like that, new light fixtures, that really makes a difference in today's market. Buyers are looking at condition of properties right now. With interest rates going up, right. you really can't change the, you can't change that. So you have to really make your home stand out. Right. Fortunately, Caldwell Banker has a program called the Revitalized Program, where if the client cannot lay out the money for the improvements on the home, like paint and flooring, right. we um, Caldwell Banker's Revitalized Program pays for those out of their pocket, and then when the home closes, they get reimbursed through the proceeds at zero interest. Really? So, yeah, so we've really bridged that gap. Wow. And so you, it's very important to really make your house shine from, the, from your competition. Got it. And then the last thing is terms. What can we do with the terms in a contract to make the home more affordable? Right. So Joe Capriati, who is the branch manager at Caldwell Bankers and Sanitas office, is here to talk about that. Thank you, Amy. You know, Jason, one of the things that's happened, and Amy brought it up, is interest rates have gone up from 3% right. to 7% right. in about a six month period. Right. And sellers think one way and buyers think another. They do. Sellers think about sales price, as they should, and buyers think about monthly payments. Right. Right. So I'd like to give you an example, just something to think about. If we took a $2 million property with a 20% down payment at 3%, and we took that same property of $2 million with a $400,000 down payment at 7%, Wow! you would literally have to adjust the price from 2 million down to 1.2 million wow. to have 000? the same monthly payment, $800,000 wow. adjustment. Wow. So we take what we do very, very seriously. Right. Obviously, we're trying to bridge gaps there are challenges in the market, and what we do is we create market solutions. Right. So what we've done is we've found ways to create terms that get sellers the price they want and get buyers the payments that they need. It's a great way of thinking. Yeah, and that's happening right now, and it's not really creative financing. It's what's been done for years. There are loans out there that are adjustable rate loans, but they are fixed for a 10-year period. Right. So you have the same interest rate for a 10-year period. And those are starting at about that 6.5% range. So if you combine that 6.5% with a buy-down on the interest rate, right. you can get interest rates down to as low as 5%. Right, making right. it more affordable, correct. Much more affordable and saving fifteen, sixteen, seventeen hundred dollars $1,700 per month. So instead of going back to a seller and saying, oh my gosh, you've got to drop your price by $800,000, which we would never do, right. it's you can get your price as long as we can create the affordability for the buyer. So that's how we really create solutions in the marketplace. I love it. So, so question, Joe. Yes. Um, so are you saying that the seller buys the offers to buy down the rate? So instead of having to lower their home 800000 if they buy down the rate by two or three points, it would cost you know, $30,000, and then the, the buyer then has an affordability in their mortgage payment. Right. So the seller pays the points? So I'm so glad that you brought that up, Amy. You know, we sell 
10, 20, 30, 40 properties a month in the office. And the trend that we're seeing right now is doing exactly what you're talking about. And that is having the offer come in with a request that the buyer credits, the, the seller credits the buyer's lender for discount points. And typically one point is 1% of the loan amount. So if you had that million dollar loan, right, 1% would be $10,000. So essentially, three points would buy down an interest rate about 1%, mm. right. right? So if you think about it, in the seller's mind, it's my choice is to, right. to help the buyer with affordability. Right. I either lower my price by $800,000 or I participate in a buy down and it's a cost of about $30,000. Brilliant. Right? And Brilliant. these are things that we used to do before the market became 50 offers on the first day, a little <laughs> bit unreasonable. Is that correct? Absolutely. And you know, as, as markets change, this is just a market cycle. We've been through this. This is the fourth cycle I've been through, right? right? So it's nothing new, nothing to be alarmed about. It just takes time for people to accept market conditions right. and accept the most plausible solutions. Thank you guys. That was such great information. Really appreciate it. Everybody, thank you for joining us on Market Movers. I'm your host, Jason Yoss. Till next time. Thank <music> you.